In many cases, you do not have one signer, but you have two or more. Of course, that's not a problem. Let's take a look at how we can handle this. Let's go to our opportunity, and on this opportunity, we have two signers, one sign, uh, the first signer and the second signer. So let's assign somebody on this one as well. It's signer two. So that's easy to remember that the first name, the last name is signer one and signer two on this uh, on this item. And next up is, of course, we have now uh, our two signers. We need a document as well that represents the two signers. So I've already prepared it. We have uh, signer one and uh, signer two. And we have the merge fields for these uh, two uh, for these two signers. So we have six zero one for signer one and six zero two for signer two. Again, I will make them invisible by just uh, putting them in white. Okay, we have our two signers. So uh, let's now go to our doc config and configure our two signers. Before we do that, of course, yeah, very important. Let's go and update the data source. The Sockel Builder and in the Sockel Builder, I take signer two. Signer contact two. So I add the signer contact two fields. I follow the relationship and I also add the name, the first name and the last name, first name, uh, last name, I add the email address, I add as well the mobile phone. These are the fields that are required for our signers. Okay, so I have all of the information. I save my, uh, my query. Now I go to the doc.config <coughs> and open up PDF Butler. I need to update my document, of course. So I'm going to do this one. And I need to update my opportunity to take on the extra fields. So now we have all of the signer two fields as well. OK. And let's see what the document requires. We, of course, need the first name and the last name of this second signer. So let's quickly add them from the opportunity. And then I'm going to take the, uh, um, um, the signer to first name, merge field is first name, and I'm going to take the last name. Add a config type, opportunity, take the last name. OK, and let's save this. OK. So now we have our we have our documents that has uh, room for the two signers, and now second is of course we have to update our sign request template. And for this case, I'm not going to update the existing sign request. I'm going to actually create a new one. So I'm going to create a new sign request template. I'm going to call it two signers. Voilà. To signers, the master object is the opportunity again. The data source that we want is our opportunity data source. Uh, let's just give it the name of uh, our the name of the uh, uh, of the, our opportunity template group and team. We're gonna skip for now. Okay, this is it for this screen. The first signer is gonna be a manual signer, and the data source is opportunity. And it's just going to be the first signer. So signer contact, the first name, the last name, the email address, the mobile, <coughs> the mobile phone. And I know that every single one that we sign is going to be using English. So uh, the mobile phone, the email, first name, last name. OK, let's add the first one. And now our second signer is going to sign via mail. And we select again the data source opportunity. And let's see, it's a signer contact to the first name of signer contact to the last name of signer contact to the email address, the mobile phone number and the language. Let's take, for instance, French. 
and let's add the second signer. So now we have two signers in, uh, in sequence, yeah? uh, um, signer one and then signer two in that sequence, and we want to store it as a, as a file when, uh, so our signed document, we want to store it as a file. Let's submit this one. Okay, completed. We have now a new template for two signers. One last step, we're going to use the same existing pack uh, for, request, for requesting the signature, and we have to update the actionable, of course. So it's now not going to be the, uh, um, the one signer, it's going to be the two signers um, sign request template. Save my, uh, uh, my actionable. Okay, and let's take a look. Just going to refresh our page over here. So we are at our opportunity and we have our two signer sets. Now I just click the button. This will generate a PDF and send out the sign request. Okay, so the sign request has been sent out. And now let's take a look at our sign request in uh, sign butler, sign requests. We have... Uh, <clears throat> We have our sign request right here, and let's take a look. And we will see in our sign request, we indeed have now two signers, zero receivers, of course. That's normal. We require two signatures, and none of the signatures have been uh, granted for the moment. I already uh, uh, received the email for the, for the signing to be, uh, to be requested. Um, and it says, that you have a document to sign. So from here, I can just go to, to the signature page and you can see that it requires now two signatures, first signature one, and then when that's done, the second signer will get a request and uh, we'll see a signature two. Maybe let's uh, try out a rejection if uh, signer one would just reject it. This reason, um, I want more motors, so reject it. Then normally when we take a look, refresh our uh, sign request, <clears throat> we see that our rejection reason is here. It's the status rejected and uh, yeah, you can see no more signatures are possible. I also received already the email that uh, the signer is now uh, not uh, uh, that uh, that uh, the, uh, the status is set to rejected, as you can see here, rejected. Okay, so this is our demo on uh, two signers.